Hello everybody. In today's video, I will show you how to combine SAP GUI script and Excel macros with each other. Very handy for users who regularly export data from SAP to Excel. We select different data and save them in separate Excel files. The whole thing happens with a script and a loop. So let's start with recording a simple routine. For this, we click on the last icon here in the SAP window. And then we see an entry script record and playback. So this is inactive. To activate this, we open the transaction R set 11. Then the parameter name is SAP GUI user scripting. And we set this parameter to true. After that, we restart the SAP GUI and we do another login. And after that, the record is available. So we click on this and we see a small window, record and playback. We can set the path for the script here. And then we can start with the routine. We click on the record button. Then we open the transaction SE16. We type here the table name S flight. Then we type in the care ID LH and we extend the maximum number of hits. Then we have the record and this uh, result we export to Excel. We set the directory and the file name. Then we click on the button generate. Uh, we see the result in the Excel. Then we click on the back button and we click in the care ID input field. This is very important. After that, we stop the script. We uh, go back to the Windows Explorer. Here's our script. So let's open the script. We see here different commands like the transaction, the table name, our inputs from CareID and so on. And now let's check if the script works. So we delete the old export and we do a double click on the script. We see the script is attempt attempting to connect the subgui and we see the script is working in the background. So that looks good. Yes, we have the result in the Excel here. So the script works. Next, we open um, the script again in the notepad and we copy this code. Then we open a new Excel. We click on the menu developer. And if you don't have this entry, you can activate it with file options. Then click on customize ribbon. And here you see the checkbox to activate the developer options. So let's go back, click on the developer. Then on macros, here we create a new macro. I type here S flight for my macro name, then I create it and I paste here the code of my uh, script. So I save this and here important type Excel macro enabled workbook. Save. And now we can uh, do some changes. Ah, but first, we type here some records, for example, the care ID and the file name. And we want that our script use, uh, use these uh, values automatically later. So we type here the different care IDs and the file name. So this data I want to export. So then let's go to the script and we do here some uh, changes. We delete the if. Uh, loops and we delete some records here we don't need. Then we type here some variables, sub 
GUI Auto Application Connection Session. And for the for loop, we need some more variables, for example, a care ID as string, then the file name, then an counter, and the last row as integer. Okay, so then we delete this maximize code line. And now we, we, we do the loop here with this code. So we intend this uh, code lines and then we write for E equals two to last row, next I, and then we save the code and we uh, fill our variables care ID and file name. So I type here care ID, this workbook, sheets, and the name of my sheet, sheet one, range. And then I type here the, the Excel cell and the counter variable. Next, the same for the file name, the same code, except the uh, Excel cell, it's B and the counter variable I. So it's A1 and B1, in, uh, A2 and B2 in the first loop, A3 and so on in the next loop. And we change the file name to the variable. So let's uh, debug the script to see which values are stored in the variables. We see here table S flight. Then we go to the for loop. Ah, okay. I have forgotten to set the last row variable. So I write here last row is this workbook dot sheets. Then sheet one dot cells rows count. And and up dot row. Okay, so let's debug this uh, script again. Okay, the connection to the GUI. Then last row is count four. That's right. So first loop, the different the care ID is set. It's LH, and the file name is LH dot xlsx okay the first loop works so we can go back we delete this and we can run the whole script and we can see if it works the script is working the carrot is changed to AA and now UA. It looks good. The Excel files are created. Yes, the script works. And now we can start the script with a button. So let's add a button to the Excel. I write here export as flight. I save this. So I delete these Excel files. And now let's start the script with the button click. So we see the script is working on the right side. The different Excel files are generated. And we see we have uh, three Excel files with the different exported data, the different care IDs. So you can save a lot of time if you use a uh, sub GUI script and Excel macros. So if you like such videos, please subscribe to my channel. Leave me your opinion about this video in the comments. I hope you will join me again for the next video. Greetings and see you soon.